This spot, it's magical. It is. We've been here before. We literally just camped a couple of spots down last time. Yep. And we've got another ripping spot right on the water. It's exactly. just perfect. The brisket's on, Trosecco on the go. Our first day on tour. Let's get into it. Scaling the water first. Trying to get hydrated before you dehydrate. Oh, the old bar days, it's been a while since we've done a bit of bar work. I'm ready. Laura's ready. Hey! Oh, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you can come and celebrate. There you go, sweetheart. Three years in the making. Cheers, Don. Cheers, sweetheart. I'm just going to seal it off. Seal it off and then, and then we'll slow cook it. Local bit. Yep. Can't risk it for the brisket. Such a beautiful afternoon, and have a look at this. God, it's, it's definitely a special place. Lake Lonsdale.
Alright, so we're at the Han Dorf Inn. We've driven three hours from Border Town and now it's time for a drink. Cheers. All the best. I can't get the Stein because I'm driving the next leg. Yeah. I got the shot. <laughs> Yum. Might have a couple of those. <laughs> Billy's entered South Australia and he can't work out how his phone hasn't oh, gone back start. half an hour. So he's 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 got some technical issues right at the moment. You right there, King? Late in time. Late in time, that's it. You're on. But, but it's still saying 743. It's actually 7, 713. All right. Paraham, here we are, South Australia. This is a top little spot. Uh, $15 a night. Uh, we got in here, just booked straight away online. There's a fair few spots vacant. It's pretty windy today, so maybe that's why there's a few spots vacant. But we're tucked away here. It's bloody fantastic. The beach is just over this side. The tide's right out at the moment. Probably show you the beach there tomorrow when the tide's up. Laura's made a good uh, little charcuterie here. <coughs> because we've had a pretty long day on the road and it's been quite windy, so... Windy and hilly, two combinations not really great for towing caravans. Uh, but we got here in the end, and now we're relaxing, having a couple of King Billies. I thought I'd show you this whilst I was doing it. Have a look at this bit of kit. The medic. I bought this from my mate, um, Explore by four, but you can also get them uh, at BCF. I think sell them. He was at the meet and greet. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. So Mark was telling me about these, and he said, oh, "I've got these really good water tanks for your dad, maybe for the back of his trailer, because he had, he just had this." And he was telling me about the Dometic, and I said, "Oh, actually, I've been working, <laughs> trying to work out where I'm going to put some King Billies to take on the on tour." So I said, listen, can I buy one off you? Which is no drama at all. Um, I think they're a couple hundred bucks. Not bad, pretty good. Just this has got a pump in it, this, this tab. Um, that's got a, a pump directly in it. We actually bought an extra one of these to go into dad's water tank. So he can just put it on the side here, just drop the hose in and put it on the side and he's got automatic water and it's run it's uh, powered off USB. So yeah, we just filled it up. You can, uh, you can sit this up here too. It's a little magnet. It's got a magnet on it. And when we're finished with it, we just unclick the hose and uh, run it back into the container. So pretty good. I think it's about 10, 11 litres. Be 11 yeah, litres. 11 litres, yeah. Um, so yeah, $15 a night to stay here. Uh, or $20 for power and water, but it's $15 without power, but you, you get water. So we've got taps right here, which is amazing. A little bit better than uh, Yarra Junction, <laughs> where you don't get anything. And there's also some toilet facilities just over here, and it's $2 for a shower. So I think that's great value, isn't it? Well, $2 for a hot shower. If you want a cold shower, it's free. Yeah, exactly. But nice toilets, flushing toilets, they're not even drop toilets. Mm. And over here, there's a camp kitchen. Oh, yeah. And that little blue fridge is actually a book swap, book exchange. Extremely neat, very neat. So we're really happy with this little stop. We're only here for one night, yeah. and then we're heading over the other side for a few nights. Uh, hopefully the wind drops off, because it'd be nice to get out in the water. The weather's about to pick up. It's going to start getting really hot. So we actually had something. 
Mm. Uh, you've got your date and time, have you? Yeah, I've got that. This is why <laughs> the amenities in this state is why you want to come to this state. Because you don't get these amenities in Victoria. Well, you can't come up, King. Don't talk down our own state. Well, sorry. Jeez. Hey, Dan it. Andrews is gone. you got to call it as it called. That it is. Not? Having yeah. a nice family movie night, and all of a sudden I'll go, just what's all this water down here? We've got a man down. You need to stop it. Okay. Coco. Just turn it off. Coco. Coco, come here. Okay. Coco. It's hot water too. We're leaking Coo. hot water. Come here. Get up, 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 go on, up. Yeah, it's, it's not sealed properly in this connection. Jesus Christ. This is all soaking. Up, up. Look at that. Mm. Up on your bed. Happy holidays. <laughs> I'm going to try to drain it. There's a little re release valve down here. All sorted. So what actually happened was, and luckily we were here to see it because one of these little push-on valves has, has um, just come free. And that was just pouring hot water straight out into the van. And I just put my leg down. I was like, why is it so wet down here? And I thought, oh, maybe the dog bowl had been spilt. But it was so much water. So, uh, yeah. We uh, keep chipping away. Back to the movie. Unbelievable. <laughs> They're at the bar now, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. So around there. In for two. Fire and turbo cut. I haven't seen a yellow sign like that before. Mm. See, this is what oh, you wanted me to fish in, Dalwood. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tide's gone out now. Wait. There we go, for seaweed. Do you want some bulky? Plenty of seagulls on the beach. <laughs> that's, that's over at the York. That's pretty far. And you thought you got a paddle over there. <laughs> so we're staying directly across there tonight. Just got to go right around this gulf to the other side. <laughs> pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> See your tire out, Molly. This beautiful campsite mm -hmm. called Parara yeah. campsite it's it's just outside of Ardrossan and it's on the eastern side of the York Peninsula so you do need a permit to stay here and you need a permit to stay on most of the campsites on the York Peninsula mm -hmm. and I'm just about to put our permits in our cars on display on the windscreen but I thought I'd show you what I did for our big lap so I got this folder Nice and pink to Troy's liking. <laughs> you, you didn't put our big lap, you just put big lap trip. Let's put big lap trip. Anyway, I've put in all the states and potential cruises for the future as well. So I've got, you know, Victoria, well, we didn't stay anywhere in particular in Victoria, but for South Australia, uh, we've got our permit here for our car and also for Bill's car. So I'm going to take those out, put them on the car, but then I also printed out things for any information on the York Peninsula, then if you go into WA, printed all different tours, road trips, maps, 
and so on. So I thought it was pretty handy. Very handy. Unfortunately, we don't have a printer now, so <laughs> we can't print anything else. So this one for New South Wales, I had our Marimbula Holiday Park stuff in here. I'll take that out now. But more states to come, hey? So anyway, that just stays next to my bed and uh, I refer to it when I need to. Very organised. What's next? It's nearly beer, beer o'clock. It's quarter to twelve. I oh, know, but it's pretty, it feels like beer weather. So we put the dishwasher on before we left. That's all done now, so we'll empty that. And then the next thing to do while we've got plenty of sun and water is the washing. So we'll do a load of washing now. That's a good idea. And then we just chill. So we're here for two days and we're very nicely set up. Do you want to show them the campsite, Doug? The tide's right out at the moment. So the water views are just out here. Beautiful. It's like a little salt lake just in over here to the right. But we're tucked away here all by ourselves at the moment, which is great. Um, so yeah, it's nearly 12 o'clock and there's no one else here. There's a few people camped up the top there. Um, we've decided to come come down here into this little section. And then we've got direct access to the beach, which I haven't been out to yet, so let's go and have a look. Cracking day, just a real slight breeze, much better than yesterday. But yeah, beautiful, have a look. Absolutely love it. Just peace and quiet, tranquility. Yeah, doesn't get much better. Jeez, that sun's bright. So that's our camp right there. Do lights first, Bill. Oh, you got lights? Perfect. Yeah. Just chuck them in there. Should be jocks out there. Elastic was going. <laughs> Do you need to spray that t-shirt? No. I can put them in. It'll be fine. Just shove it in. Right. Three kilos. Good job, Ivan. <laughs> Don't start, Mr. Millet. So I actually save the powdered stuff for caravan parks and for this one I just use this eco-friendly sheet it says to use one but I like I don't always follow the rules are you sponsored which Troy can you stop which Troy knows I don't like to follow the rules so I put two in let's see how it goes she doesn't like getting told off that's what I do now 42 minutes. Let's put it on quick. 15 minutes. Let's not waste water here. I'll check my water app. Uh, we used, we've got 285 litres of water, three tanks. We're down 10 litres, basically. So, this is the water app that I use. So we're down at 270, 271. There you go. After a short walk, the washing machine's finished. We're down to 262. So it's used about nine, about nine litres, but then Harrison just washed his feet, so probably under nine litres. The washing, all systems, GA. You're gonna put another load on? I just did. Okay. The old man had a couple of jobs before he come on this trip. He just needed to get some beer and some snacks. So he dropped into Costco and I swear to God, this is gonna last us to 2025. Have a look at these. That's not the only bag. He's got Doritos that size. Well, it's just ridiculous. Have a look.
camp right there at Parara. Stunning spot, but we've got some easterly winds. This morning's okay, but they're supposed to pick up a little bit later on. So we've decided to go over to Point Turton, which that's the greatest thing about the York Peninsula, isn't it? You can just chop and change, and it, everything's very close to each other. And with the permit, you don't actually have to pay for the site that you're staying at. You just pay for the time you're here, and you move around as much as you want. Yeah, that's so good having that permit because you're not locked into one place and the weather can change like that mm. and that's exactly what makes your time worthwhile or not but that was a yeah, really stunning spot the tide was right up this morning I was going to throw a line in but we decided to, to leg it pretty early just to be able to get a, a reasonable site it doesn't seem that busy down here but you never know the other side might be busy yeah. because people have worked out the east, easterly winds and Anyway, time will tell. The West is best, apparently. They do say that. This looks like a nice spot. They'll get dragged back here. Come on! Big girls. Pretty magical, isn't it, though? Beautiful. Good choice coming over this side. Yeah. We would have just sat there in the wind. Yeah, and can't even go in the water. right out at the moment so we'll, we'll wait for the tide to come in a little bit and uh, got a little surprise I'm gonna hook in the back of it let's work smarter not harder I'm so glad I, I purchased that pump because <clears throat> it comes with those one of those hand pumps that you can use on you know like paddle boards and stuff like that but I'll tell you what pumping that up would be a nightmare 15 psi on the bottom um, 5 psi on, on the sides but you saw how long that took to pump up and at least it's um the other benefit of it that I love 
is that this thing is also acts as a um, deflator. So when you're packing it away, you change the nozzles from inflate to deflate and it does the reverse and actually sucks everything right down so it's really easy to compact to put back into the bag so she's a bit Mickey Mouse yeah I just got to get Laura to carry it down to the water because that's a good you know maybe 800 meters and uh, we'll see what she's doing What's she, what's she up to? Oh, there you go, there she is. Having a little resties with Molly. So I'll keep setting up. So far so good, I'm pretty happy, pretty impressed with that. This, this, you can also stand up in a fish. Jeez, the floor feels good. Yeah. Very salubrious. What do you reckon, sweetheart? I can see myself fishing out here. Ugh. Oh, it's very solid. Oh. See, you can even sit up the front, or I can stand here and fish. It's not supposed to be only a one manner, but we'll be right. I've got to show you my idea that I come up with. I, I was looking at running this electric motor, so I contacted, what are they called? iTech, iTech, iTech batteries or something. Anyway, I contacted them, sent them an email and said, "Oh, you know, what type of battery would suit this particular setup and how much?" They come back and said it was going to be 800 bucks. It's like, geez, All right, I've got to think of something different because I've just dropped a thousand on the on the boat itself, and then the motor was nearly 300. So. So I thought, well, let's let's come up with a different idea. So have a look at me little lunchbox here. Look at that. A couple of Bosch batteries. And you just swap them over. You click them in. Just really make sure the positive's in the positive. Put the negative in first. These are the spares if you if you run out when you're out there. Lock it back up. I'll probably change this setup with the alligator clips. Because that's that's not gonna be conducive long term. Look at that baby. We've got lift off. Dollar twenty. That's what I'm talking about. And she goes in reverse as well. Obviously I haven't tested this in the water, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. So I just need the miso <laughs> to carry it down to the water. What do you reckon? You want squid tonight? <laughs> <laughs> That's wishful thinking. Come on, King. Look, as a good seaman does, he goes and checks the conditions before he takes the, yes. the boat down there. Yeah. He's all Sold set up. up, he's ready to go. Sold Doesn't up. mean it will go in the water today. It might be tomorrow. All right, he's been pestering me about this toy for ages. He keeps telling me, I need to get my inflatable kayak. I need to get my inflatable kayak. And I said, well, you gotta sell your hard one first, the Hobie. So he's done that, and then he's straight out to get this. And look at him cruising along. Cruising, darling. I need to give you a UHF. You're moving very fast. <laughs> I'm he's happy. Pretty good. It's pretty fast. No excuses now, he has to catch some fish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
good job, Dale. Worth the money? Yep. It feels a little bit incumbent with the steering yep. side of things, but I think I'll definitely get used to it. Mm, ready to catch some fish now? All right, I'll go and try to... A thousand dollars worth. Kick me out, mate. And the battery's still sitting at 20, so... This is living, Barry. This is living. All right, going to do a bit of trawling out here. I'm surprised how stable this thing is. Like, it can stand up. Like I said, it's just a bit incumbent, the, the motor like this. Maybe it's the chair. You can also, if you want, look, that's on the lowest setting. That's the fastest. Hey, that motor's, that motor's fine. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to see how long one battery lasts. Down to 16. I'll just cruise like this. Probably good trawling speed. I've got spare batteries anyway, and the ore, worst case scenario. That wasn't too bad. I was out there for maybe 20 minutes and that was using it. I didn't stop out there, basically. Just kept trawling. So the battery had one bar left. So we'll charge that up for tomorrow's proceedings. Well, all right, 6.30 a.m. I'm up at the Cracker Decker. Sun hasn't even come over those that uh, hill yet. Let's go and see if we can catch something. Wow, what a beautiful morning. Well, even if you're not catching something, <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is bloody so peaceful here. There's no one else on the beach. Yeah, so I'm guessing, I mean, there's a few species that they catch here. Um, it's probably mainly mainly whiting and, uh, and squid, I believe, so. You're not going to get your, I don't think you're going to get your queenies or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't fished a lot of these waters, so. But you just got to keep uh, giving things a go. And I've got a smorgasbord of, I mean, this, this is like, buddy, what's that joint called? It's like a, an all-you-can-eat for fish. Can't remember the name of it. Anyway, look at that. Got the works. More squid jigs than you can poke a stick at. The sun's just about to come up over that mountain. But yeah, geez. You can never get used to this. Look at this. Beautiful.
Mom going? What you doing, Dom? That wasn't very long. That's because there's no fish in there. So when you realise there's no fish, you stop fishing. As soon as you left, mm. Coco threw up all over the bed. Oh my god. <laughs> so Molly was out getting the paper towel and the spray wipe. Oh my god. And she's in her bed. Alright, we'll 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 royalty beach. <laughs> we're, 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 we're royalty beach. Uh it's a bit wi bit windy, we've got a southerly coming through and that's gonna be here for a few days, so we've decided that we won't camp here, but it's it's stunning. It's a few people camp down there. We actually did book a, a June site, um, and they're all taken. So I'm not sure if someone's gone in there and they haven't booked and not we known have, because we it's pretty windy. We've just got a permit to be able to stay in one yeah. of the sites. Oh, yeah, they're can't... full. Once they're full, yeah. they're full. So <clears throat> they're very tight in there anyway. They actually suggest no caravans in those dune areas. You can get them in there, but um, there's there's a few there already. So we'll punch on. Uh, Point Victoria we'll go to. We'll head that way, and then we'll find another another camp. Probably a bush camp, considering the wind. It's a, it's a bit windy. I kind of really... A day with no wind, this would be Mickey Mouse. All right, let's leg it. So I'm just having a look online because I've got the York Peninsula map in the caravan. I'm looking at the York Peninsula Council site with all the camping locations. So there's a few here. What well, we're we're here at we're Royalty. We're going to go up to Port Victoria and. We'll make our way there and then I'm just gonna check out some of these other campsites ahead. It's funny like you know some of the top spots that YouTubers stay at don't work out to be necessarily your top spot. It's a beautiful mm. beach. I'm 
I'm sure there's good fishing there. It's very weather dependent as well. Yeah. The wind's not up there. That's a beautiful spot. And the toilets are nowhere near the sand dunes. Yeah, they're right down here at the entrance. I mean, if you didn't have the time, you'd just camp in there. You know, you pulled up late. Yeah. Sorry if you can't hear me, it's very windy, um, but it always pays to check your van once you've done a, a little bit of corrugations. So what I've just realised is that we've got a bit of a bit of a diesel leak here. So what I'm going to have to do is transfer the remaining diesel that we've got in there into this tank, undo this maybe put some Teflon tape on there and see how it goes but yeah it'll, there's no point just leaving it in there it's just gonna all end up on the ground happy days I'm feeling pretty confident today that I reckon the fish are gonna be biting so when in doubt get a chicken drumstick out <laughs> Mm. Surely they're gonna love this. Meanwhile, King's on the Barbie. You having a win there, King? Oh, uh, yeah, burning, destroying the sausages. Yeah. Where's your backdrop? Very salubrious. Okay. That's not bad. A little bit better than Windy Buffalo. Oh. Harrison's out there playing with the dogs. ask for much more it's actually not a bad day today it's a little bit of breeze but nothing like yesterday I also want to try Laura got me the quick release drone attachment so I want to get that out at some stage and learn how to use that it's got to connect with the remote control of the drone so we'll see how that goes um, and that will make life a lot easier but I'm tipping I don't know about the drumsticks what do you guys reckon is it gonna work Together. You've got a love-hate relationship, these two. Geez, they're thirsty. Mm -hmm. You've worn them out, mate. Yeah. There's a fair bit of um, side wash because we've got a southerly breeze that's blowing across the beach. So the line's sort of going out this way a bit too much. It's going to clear up in the next few days. So hopefully the wind turns around a little bit. And there's a bit of weed, I think, grabbing the line, so. Yeah, you can tell there's weed grabbing the line as the waves come in, it's... It's getting me uh, excited for all the wrong reasons. How's this for service? Thanks, Darwin. There you go, Dal. Good job. I'll try to get you some fish, alright? I'll just say this if you ever try to use chicken drumsticks as bait, you're a muppet. It doesn't work. I've uh, probably fed the, the uh, blue swimmer crabs out there, I reckon. Anyway, you've got to give it a go. Now we know it doesn't work, we're gonna go get some bait. Um, and hopefully tomorrow the wind dies down a little bit. There won't be as much side wash and weed, there's a fair bit of weed. And we'll give it another go. That's all you can do.
Thank you. Molly will light it. All right, so we're about to cook dinner. It's Thursday. If you come over to our calendar, Thursday the 18th, uh, we were supposed to be in Burners Beach, but we moved on and we were supposed to be at the pub. That's not correct. So now we're having fried chicken drumsticks. We were supposed to have those last night, but they weren't defrosted in time. So I'm going to make them Ooh, now. So that would have thrown your schedule yeah, no. right out of skill. It just got me all out of whack. So we're not actually crumbing these at all and you're probably going to wonder how do you get fried drumsticks out of no crumbing well i'm going to put this link in somewhere on this screen donna hayes buttermilk fried drumsticks they are the bomb and we don't have buttermilk so i looked up how to create buttermilk substitution and it's just milk and a bit of lemon juice and then you soak the chicken drumsticks in that for a while and then the magic will happen in the flour mix. Right. Now we are short one drumstick because oh, yeah. I tried I tried to catch a fish today with chicken. No, no good. If you want to substitute buttermilk, if you don't have it at home and you don't have time to go to the shops, 100 mils to one tablespoon of lemon juice is how you create that. Or you can use vinegar. So this cup is actually 250 mils. So you're going to do the mass for me, Dala. Three. Okay, listen to the instructions again. I wasn't listening. You know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm actually filming, but I'm looking out there at the weather. One. That's what I'm doing. One tablespoon of lemon juice to every 100 mils of milk. And there's 600 mils of milk in so there, darling. So how need, many tablespoons? You of... need six. Thank you. But in saying that, I had didn't... that lemon juice this morning on pancakes, yeah. and that lemon juice is the strongest lemon juice you have in your life. So I wouldn't put six in there. All right. So we're doing just right. buying buttermilk. It's easier. Okay. So it, it says to put the chicken in the buttermilk and refrigerate for 30 minutes to marinate. So that's not too bad. We've got plenty of time and then hopefully this thickens up a bit now the other thing I'm going to do before I put these in is put some slices through the chicken breasts uh, chicken chicken drumsticks so then it's it cooks evenly when Troy's cooking them that and it also marinates really well that's true too it does soaks right in there got my good knives Dogs will be frothing for this. The chicken is marinating, and somehow I've got to fit this in our fridge. What I might do is Let's take this out. sandwich thing out for half an hour. I'm not sure if you've seen, but Laura and Harrison have started to tackle a new puzzle. So this, the this whole place, hard. the whole place is puzzle puzzled, puzzled out. This one's sailing down under, so it's Sydney Harbour Bridge, Sydney Opera House, sailboats, people, kangaroos, it's a bit full on. That was st stocked at the farm for years. This is hard. You've just got to like find colours. Too many archie rutches to the rutches. chicken has been marinating for at least one hour now and this is the roasting dish I'm going to use. I'm going to pour the vegetable oil in here and then Troy will shallow fry the chicken in that. So you're going to need a lot of oil. So just coat the chicken with all the flour mix and then it will do its thing when it's being fried off. Make sure it's all coated evenly as well. This one. All 
Alright, now the other four. That's done. So I will take this out to Troy, we'll get this nice and hot, and then we'll put, once that starts bubbling, we'll put the chicken on. There we go. To get that nice and hot, and when it's bubbling, we'll um, put the chicken, probably do four at a time. Yeah. We've just got to make sure that we don't burn them. Well, we've got to make sure that we don't burn the van down too with the oil. Yeah. But anyway, we'll give it a go. Is it ready, Dale? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> She's blowing. Oh, wow. Um. Most of them in. Chicken takes a while to cook through. Oh, that's good. That there is finger looking good. All right, guys, that's the end of this episode. We're done. That's our first week on tour. Uh, our first official week of our start of our lap around Australia. So. Yep. And it's been awesome. Yeah. And oh, we're off to a great start. We're very that's, accustomed now, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, all the hype and all the talk is uh, finally come. Yeah. And um, it's living up to its expectations, really. Yeah. So we'll stay here for a few days and then we will head um, out, of the, out of the York and we'll say goodbye to these guys as well. Yeah. Say goodbye to this Miss Moo. Yeah, Miss Moo. Uh, and then, yeah, next time you see us, we'll actually probably be on our property in Sajuna. We'll see. Yeah. You never know. Like, like here, we didn't realise that we'd stay here for so long, but it's just such a beautiful spot that we absolutely uh, love it. So yeah. So we decided to stay a little bit longer, and that's the beauty of travelling, really. Well, we went for a drive today to check out some of the other campsites around here, and this is the best spot, so yeah. we're holding on to it. Tapara. Tapara Rocks. It's beautiful. There's only three spots here, as you would see in this episode, but um, yeah, we're fortunate enough to get a good spot. One, two down the very back there, and three over there. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your support, <laughs> your ongoing support. Yep. Thanks Means, for watching. Yeah. And all your comments. Comments and the subscribers have just gone yeah. ridiculous. So crazy. Good we work, appreciate guys. your support. Thank you. And thanks for watching those adverts. Yep. And we'll see you on the next one. We'll Bye. see you next week. Bye for now. Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's going to be good. In your trailer. O-M-G. And look at the backdrop. Stop it. <laughs> Check out King Billy's knees. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Look how white you are. Yeah, yeah. And then look right. how red your knees are. That's <laughs> alright, they're good. Dallin, how did it turn out? Oh my goodness. I think it's a um I think it's probably the only time you can say winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> it's bloody beauty. Bloody, hell. bloody beauty text. Mm.